Okay, so we're going to learn about pointers. I have x colon equals 42. Format print line x will give me the value. Format print f percent t will give me the type. I run this, this is 29. 42 and an int, right? Well, I could also do this. I could say, show me the address where that value is stored. So if you put the ampersand in front of a value that is not a pointer, it'll show you the address. In the computer's memory, there are little locations where things are stored. That is the exact location in hexadecimal. That translates to some number. But that's the location where the value is stored. That's interesting, right? If I wanted to, I could store that value in another variable. What value am I assigning to y? Why is that not moving? What am I doing? It's too late. I can't remember the code. I've triggered some twilight zone. There we go. So I'm assigning to Y an address, right? That's a memory address. We just saw that's a memory address. So when I assign that to Y, I'm going to print out that address right here, but what type is it going to give me? It's a new type, and that new type is a pointer to an int because it's pointing to where an int is stored. This address, right, is where an int is stored. So when I have a variable that's storing an address, that's like pointing towards that address. It's like, hey, here's the address where that where an int is stored. Otherwise, I just have an int. Here, I have an address where an int is stored. So instead of saying an address where an int is stored, we're saying a pointer, because you kind of it's pointing to where the int is stored, right? Like I could say the address to Fresno City College is 1101 East University. Or I could just stand across the street and I could say, I could point. There it is. So this is a pointer to an address where an int is stored. It's a pointer to an int. When I have a value, and by the way, it's a pointer to an int, that star is the type. Right? Star int, that's all part of the type. Here, a little bit confusing, is an operator. When I have an address, let me do it here. When I have an address, I have an address there, I could get the value by putting the operator in front of it. It's an operator. Plus sign adds numbers together. That's an operator. That star is going to say, dereference this address. I no longer want the reference. Give me the value. I no longer want the reference. Give me the value. So it gave me the value, 42. Right? So I have x, which is 42. I assign the address of x to y. 
If I put the star y, it gives me the value at that address. And if I go star y equals 43, I just said, hey, the value at the address of y, make it equal to 43. And if I print line x, what's x going to be? Forty-three. The reason x is 43 is because 42 is stored in some address. We assign that value, which is an int, to x. And then we get that address. Oh, look, there's that address where 42 is stored. Did I say 43 here a second ago? 42. 42 is a value stored at some address. We assign that value to x. We could see that address. We assign that address to y, right? We know that that y, the value, the type of the value it's storing is an address where an int is stored. So it's a pointer to an int, right? y is a pointer to an int. That's its type. And then we dereference that. So we could look at the value, and we see the value. 42 is stored at that address. And then we say, hey, at this address, the value there, make it equal to 43. Well, x is looking to that address to figure out what its value is. x is looking to that address to figure out what its value is. And we just changed at that address the value to 43. So now x is 43, because that's looking at the value at that address. Interesting, right? It's pointers. What you have to remember is ampersand gives you the address. You could work with pointers. Values of type pointer, there's a pointer to an int. And then you could dereference an address to get to the value. So I'm saying the value, make it 43. The value at this address, make it 43, right? And the, and the reason you want to do that is you'll see things which are pointers to an int or pointers as you look at Go code. So you kind of want to know that when you see that, oh, they're just passing the address. Why might they be passing the address? They don't want to pass like this huge data structure. So just to save memory, we'll just pass the address where those, all those values are stored. Maybe that's why. Or maybe they're passing the address because later they want to change what's stored in that location, right? And now with the address, they could say, okay, let's dereference it and change the value there. So it allows you to mutate, they say, mutate what's at that address. Any Java people in here kind of like, oh, mutate? Yeah, that's pointers. 